Uh, my name is Wala Javi. Um, I was born in New York in uh, 1984. Uh, I live in Dubai right now. I think it was the first time uh, I went to uh, I went to eat pears um, when I was young. I was about 12, I think. I went with my dad. Uh, it was the first time I saw my dad praying. So knowing that my like knowing that my mother prays all the time, but my dad doesn't. Because see, the thing is, another reason why I wasn't really uh, connected religiously was the fact that my dad wasn't. And the fact that the father in the family isn't, and the mother is, it doesn't really give you much room to become religious. Why? Because you can't go with your mother to, to the mosque, as opposed to in, in Christianity, you can actually go with her to church. But in, in Islam, you can't. It has to be, you know, you know, the males and the females are, are, are separated. Um, so the fact that my dad said, okay, but, you know, I look up to my dad. So the fact that my dad said, okay, well, let's go. Let's go to the mosque today. Uh, let's go for eight prayers. You have to wake up at five in the morning. You have to come. Uh, I said, "Wow, okay. Let's let's see what this is about." Um, I remember I went and it was it was just a huge uh, open space. Like it was basically a flat desert, and they put out carpets everywhere. Um, so it was like an open mosque, and um, uh, and uh, you know there was the imam at the, at the top. Uh, uh, talking about Islam and, uh, and where you should be going with your life and all that. And, uh, and the fact that I saw my dad praying with me, it was, it was very, it was touching because I felt, although he wasn't very religious, that that one moment, moment of my life where I was praying next to him, it was just magical because I felt, you know, we were always together. We were on the same level because it was always a father-son relationship. But just that day, when I prayed with him, it was we were, on, we were on the same level for the first time, and I felt you know it, it made me connected both uh, family-wise and uh, religiously uh, to God, and it was the first time I got exposed to to God in my context. Um, so it was the first time I I I got exposed to yes, there is a being above us looking out after us. Um, and that you should respect and appreciate life because this is what he created and uh, God created all, so appreciate what he's done. I think from high school, when I went to university, um, at least my first year to university, because I stayed four years in Canada, uh, my first year to university, I was kind of very out of touch uh, with, with, with the religious world because I was very focused on school and I was meeting all these Canadians and uh, we were partying a lot and uh, I wasn't really connected anymore. Um, I mean, it was fun and all, but there was, there was definitely something missing in my life for that first year of university. And uh, then when I came back in the second year of university, uh, uh, you know, I met, I met with some Muslim friends over there and and I saw that there, there's an actual community that goes and prays every Friday in Canada, uh, in the university. Um, so I started going there. I started joining them. And then I, I started realizing that, oh, look, you've been doing that for the first year. You've been kind of not listening to uh, what God has said. And um, I mean, I kind of regret what I did the first year of university, but uh, I think when I start to realize again, to go back to uh, Islam, it just changed my life again. Um, the reason why I think the first year I was, it's not that I doubted faith, I, I, or had no, no faith in God, it's just, I, I guess I wasn't, I wasn't concentrating on, I just wasn't focused. Do you have any memory of that second year of school when you finally realized that you had faith coming into your life? Yeah. Um, there's a lot of elements that changed when when I started, you know, realizing that what I did the first year was wrong. And when I started praying, um, it was like a magical moment where, especially that first time I went to the, to the prayer room because there are no mosques where I went in Montreal. Uh, at least the ones where I went. 
Um, and I saw all these, it was surprising because you're in a huge room and you see all these other Muslims and you're in, you're in, a, in a foreign country in North America, in Canada, in Montreal, in a, in a very French uh, province, sorry, in a very French province. Um, and you look around and your brothers are all over you. And uh, it was nice to just, you know, be together as one, um, you know, uh, praying for the same uh, for the same being, for the same God, um, believing in one faith. Um, I don't know, like I, I, I'm just trying to express myself, express my feelings. It's, it was like a warm feeling inside when, uh, after that, after I got out of the prayers. Um, but I, everything in my life just changed after that day. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a good experience. I'm very grateful for that day. Um, I think that's that was the main the pillar of my life, like, like a key milestone in my life where things went 360, you know, at 180, uh, took a turn uh, for the good. Um, it was all it all it all came out of just one prayer, so. I was shocked that uh, it would it, that one prayer would change my life, but it was just one that one prayer, that one Friday prayer that I went with my friends, it just changed the way I thought of life. Um, it made me believe that yes, there is a God. Um, don't drink, uh, do be good, you know, do good things. It just changed it. I mean, while 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 is a Muslim, but uh, it doesn't stop at that. I don't think uh, uh, the fact that a Muslim makes any difference to anyone it shouldn't at least make a difference to anyone. Um, it's just what I believe. This is my life. This is this is what I believe in. Um, but I, I do I do want to make things better for myself. I do want to make things better for my family. I do want to make things better for my friends. Um, so I'm, yeah, I'm your, your typical Syrian slash Lebanese slash born in New York slash went to University in Canada slash live in Dubai kind of person. But um, yeah, um, I guess, you know, one interesting thing is that between Syrian, Syrians and Lebanese, there's, it's a huge conflict because, you know, the whole political issues, it's just horrible. Um, and the fact that my father is Syrian and he's an original Syrian guy and has a Syrian family and my mother is a very original Lebanese family. These are, you know, pure blood, pure blood, mixed blood. Here's the outcome, me, Wal. So Wal is just this mixture of two competing, two not competing, two conflicting um, uh, political background, uh, families from political background, from political conflict areas. Um, and I guess I'm just like a, 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 I guess, I don't know. I feel like I can, I can, because I can really talk to Syrians and I can talk to Lebanese and I, I get along with them both great. But I know that when a Syrian talks to Lebanese, I know, I'm sure the conversation can go very nice, but I, I can always sense that there's, you know, there's some, there's some friction between them, but I have a way to just mingle with both. And, um, just the fact that. Um, I'm from th those two different backgrounds, two very different backgrounds. Uh, makes me understand that, guys, you can work things out. It's not this way or it's not this way. It can go both ways. You just have to accept it and respect it. Um, I guess that's the main thing I'd like people to know about me is just that I come from two completely different backgrounds and I'm still able to mix with both and to understand that to truly understand that even if you come from a different background, we can still work together to make life better. <laughs>